Hello and thank you for your purchase of an Epilogue Zing laser system. This video will cover the uncrating and basic setup of the machine. Once you receive the crate, please make a walk all the way around the pallet, checking for any damages. If you find any damages to the crate or the pallet, please contact Epilogue at the factory or your local distributorship immediately. Next, you will need to use a knife to cut the bands that hold the machine's box down to the pallet. Be careful as these bands are under high pressure. Next, remove the top part of the wooden pallet. Then using a box cutter, carefully cut the box tape on the sides and on the top. Next, open up the box and remove the top insert. Please be sure to keep all the packing materials, as you may need to ship the machine to a different location. Next, unfold the plastic bag, and sometimes this bag can be used to cover up the machine when it's not in use in a dusty environment. Weighing well over 100 pounds, these machines are very heavy and awkward to lift. Please be sure to have help lifting them out of the box and onto a solid surface, such as a countertop or a strong disc. As a reminder, please keep all the packing materials in a safe and dry area so that you'll have them ready to ship if you need to send the system to a different location. While setup of the vector cutting grid or the rotary attachment are not covered in this video, they will be attached to the pallet in separate boxes. On the back side of the unit, this is a great time to make note of the serial number, taking a picture or writing it down in your owner's manual. You will need to provide technical support, your serial number, to order any parts or cleaning supplies for the system. Now we'll go over the contents of the box. Once you have the box open, lay out all the contents carefully to be sure that you have all the inventory from the checklist included in the box. If you are missing anything from this checklist, contact your distributor and the Epilogue factory immediately. Please locate your quick start guide. This is a crucial document that will list all the parts needed to hook up your Epilogue system. It lists not only the parts, but also the diagram for showing hooking up the exhaust, hooking up the Ethernet and network cable, electrical outlets, and also the driver CD. With the purchase of your Epilog Laser system, you now have access to log in to the online customer-only Epilog Laser Virtual Training Suite. In the online training suite, you will find a collection of videos, walkthrough demonstrations included with files, printable instructions and maintenance chart to print out and place by the system. The walkthrough tutorials are matched with a sample of alder wood, a wooden keychain, and a beveled cast acrylic paperweight. These blank materials are a great way to test drive your new laser, match power settings, and showcase some new laser samples. Next we'll identify what's in the accessory bag. In the accessory bag you will find the electrical power cord that comes with the system. This is a standard 110 volt power cord that plugs in from the laser to the electrical outlet. Next we will have a quarter inch black air assist tube that goes from an air compressor to the back of the laser. Then we have a Ethernet network crossover cable that's meant to go from the computer or laptop to the laser system. Next we have a standard USB cable. Also in the kit is the lens cleaning solution and some lens tissues that you use to clean the lens and the mirrors. 
Next, there is a bullseye plastic target that fits in the lens assembly to help with beam alignment of the laser tube. The CD contains not only the drivers to run the system, but also an owner's manual in PDF form. And last but not least, a full printed version of the Zing owner's manual. Now's a good time to go through the user checklist, quick start guide, and make sure you have all of these items ready for setup. If you are missing any of these items, please contact your local distributor or the Epilogue Laser Factory Direct. Cut the band from the electrical power cord, plug the system up to the 110 standard electrical outlet, and then to the back of the laser. Make sure these connections are firmly seated. Now we will go over the exhaust fan and fume extraction options. The term exhaust can be used to refer to either an indoor fume extractor or an outside exhaust fan. That's where you vent the outgassing to the outside atmosphere. The important point is that it is mandatory that an exhaust unit or filter system that it is incorporated as part of your laser system. Never operate your laser system without a properly functioning exhaust. The exhaust removes the dust and debris and smell and odor and gases from the engraving machine and it exhausts them either to the outside of the building or a filter unit. With the 4 inch exhaust hose you'll hook one end to the back of the laser system. The other end would go to a portable indoor fume extraction unit. Engraving Concepts offers a couple of different options for indoor fume extraction. The air assist on your Zing system provides a constant stream of air pushing the smoke and debris and fire and flame ups away from the cutting area. It also helps remove dust and outgassing away from the lens and optics assembly. Use the air assist quarter inch tube that came with the system. One end will plug into the back of the laser, the other end to your air compressor. If you're using a tank compressor, be sure you put a water trap to catch moisture from entering into the laser system. This concludes our uncrating and basic setup and installation of an Epilogue Zing entry-level laser system. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.